Ladies and gentlemen, check it out today. Uh, I want to show you this entire pack. This is one electric vehicle battery. This is uh, the Chevy Volt. It comes with around 16 and a half kilowatts, but the battery bank uh, would never use more than 11 kilowatts in the car. And well, that's fine but we're not gonna be pulling 150 amps out of these things. Uh, the bus bars or you know, copper bars that they you know, put together on the, uh, the original bank, they're thin. And it's kind of interesting because these are the terminals for the bolts. You also got two terminals right here. You see this hump. I'm gonna cut this hump out on all the, uh, all the packs if you can see closer there's a hump on every pack there's one so there's uh one two three four five humps that i gotta cut out and those little humps are where the nuts and bolts are for uh, the separation packs now you can see on that side over there that there is a pack there with a bar let me try to show you this here so from the factory all these batteries are run in series so they've got these packs running series and you got one two three four five Let's see one two three four five uh, packs that have uh, bars across this side specifically is the power side of the battery bank this side is just for support. So you could, if you wanted to keep these batteries together, you just put the power connector, I mean, the support connectors right here, tighten them down, they'll stay a bit stronger. These straps aren't exactly the best, but you know, it does an okay job. Uh, it appears that it's uh, spot welded, but it, not that big a deal. They spot weld it, paint it, and then they slide it over the case. You can see that they're not like super tight, but they're tight enough to hold it. So here is our connectors for the BMS. Actually, that was a 24 volt one. So a 24 volt BMS connector won't fit on a 48 volt BMS connector and vice versa. You can see it won't fit. And this is the 48 volt, it won't fit with it. So 24 volt battery, 48 volt battery. And you have to have specific connectors because there's different amount of wires in these. Uh, there'll be six wires, I believe. Uh, Bobby said, about this connector, which is the one that he's got. He's got those and that's pretty cool. But uh, there's a lot of wiring I've got to do. I've got to balance one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. I got nine packs I have to balance. Um, the, maybe the easiest way would be to tie all the packs together in parallel, even these packs, put a fuse link between all of them, which would be a lot of work, but it'd still be uh, less expensive to do it that way than every single bank, which is probably a bad idea to do it that way than every bank, which considering the price of the BMSs, uh, you know, it's uh, pretty nice to get a BMS, but 
I'm probably just gonna run balancing until you know the cows come home I'm, I'm not one to sit there and look at the batteries you know voltage all the time so we've got our setup but as you can see what I have a concern about is also with uh, the plastic cover well, I don't want to leave this with just a plastic cover and then open the terminals being they're so close together this would be negative or yeah this is negative and that's positive so this is the highest positive across the bank this is the most negative so being that's negative and positive that's an easy short circuit i mean that's incredibly easy short circuit so when i get done wiring these up I'm going to probably use a uh, probably use the cover that came with it. I'm gonna slide this off the wall, put the cover over top of it, and then you'll be able to stand on it. But as of right now, these covers aren't specifically to me the strongest covers in the world. But hey, they currently, you know, prevent all the cells from getting shorted, but there's no reason to uh, not consider it. So I'm, I'm really excited to get this moving along. And if you didn't know, I wanted to move this along because the batteries in the garage are simply uh, off-gassing hydrogen and oxygen and if you didn't know HHO gas is kind of explosive if not incredibly explosive so I want to try to you know move to a different um, different battery chemistry that doesn't off gas batteries and you don't have to water them you just have to maintain the cells and whatever battery management system that I do get it will definitely have the ability to show all the battery cells in a computer program in the long run because I want I mean you know if one's really far off you won't know if you just got a balance board on here and it just supposed to balance it so if I don't have an ability to measure any of that well that's kind of a nuisance to me so uh, I, I'd like to see everything is something out of balance a little bit is that a problem should I take that battery bank out and you know stop using it so is that a problem I mean absolutely it would be a problem but right now I'm going to uh, attempt to use balance boards in these um, there's some uh, stuff coming out for the Chevy Volt batteries for, from balance uh, battery management systems I think just plugs into it so I'm gonna try to look into that and see what we can do about that one but I'm not sure but we'll see I mean if it's easy to just plug it in and I don't have to worry about it that's absolutely amazing I would love to do it like that um, the question is will it allow me to do 24 volt and 48 volts at the same time because we got everything here I mean you got two 24 volts and one two three four five six seven 48 volt battery so 16 and a half kilowatts ish they rated at 16 but it's a little better than 16 but i'll not be using 16 and that'll be uh you know a logical way to do this um i put this on interest-free loan through paypal and i'm selling a lot of equipment at my house to cover this and then I'm also selling my NICAD batteries as well so those those will I'll uh every week I'll eventually drop the price down a hundred dollars so right now I'd say if you wanted to come and get it uh, you need to send me an email in the description below and we'll work something out okay but eventually somebody's going to want to get those batteries all right so moving on we've got 
these batteries and they're not hooked up to nothing they probably won't be hooked up to nothing for quite some time until I am completely satisfied with the way it's set up another issue with the reason why I'm not hooking them up is the magnum inverter now there's nothing wrong with the magnum inverter it's doing exactly what it's supposed to now the magnum inverter is designed to discharge the 34 volts and at 12s nominal voltage uh, the minimum is 36 well below the 30 percent uh, depth of discharge i want to stop at and probably won't use that much not even close to 16 kilowatts but also it's got a charging mechanism here as well when i flip that breaker on this inverter will charge and right now just turned on and started charging i discharge this invert this battery bank the nicads down to 34 volts uh, and bam this thing shut off at 34 volts i use a lot of power at night i mean that's just what it is and this morning I, after coffee was made the batteries went dead so what you expect with this is to kill if somebody flips this breaker on here and leaves it. So this, these lithium batteries will charge like 56 volts, which is well above the 50 volt minimum, I mean maximum. So we don't want to go above 50 volts and we don't want to go below 36 volts. But the biggest issue is this inverter is gonna kill it without the controller. Um, they got some controllers on Amazon for $145 and you know that's going to be one of the things I'll have to get to prevent it from overcharging and under uh, uh, over depth to discharging so it'll overcharge these lithiums and it'll run them further flat than they're supposed to be so This thing should uh, do its best. Currently, the solar array is doing 100 and, no, nope, it's about 70 watts. It's raining outside. It's pretty early in the morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. So, you've got uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We're making 72 watts. Normally, it's sun shining directly on the solar panels but it's raining so i'll get some good power later on i'll probably get about four kilowatts today um hopefully better but it's not a whole lot to run off of with the solar array so this is still considered to me a one day charge with this battery bank having uh, 16 kilowatts or uh, let's say we'll start out at 11 if we just use 11 kilowatts it's still considered to me a one day charge so i won't be able to use it for two days straight raining it's just not possible but i mean you know if i was being really really conservative yes it would be possible but it, it, it's not going to be possible with my standard amount of stuff that i'm doing and that's too bad but it's okay and i wanted to just make a video for you guys and explain to you everything that's going on with the solar array and i know it's kind of long and boring but this is you know the beginning of a new era in uh, battery technology and i wanted to try it out you know i found a good price and i picked up the battery bank and uh i'm selling a ton of my stuff to cover this so uh, it's also going to be safer since uh, you know have to run the fans in the garage to vent the gas out all the time and the alarm going off for uh, hydrogen gas I've got a hot uh, uh, explosive explosive gas detection device in the house just because I got these batteries here so I, I didn't want you know carbon dioxide in the house and explosive gas so 
I bought a carbon dioxide and explosive gas detector when I first moved in my house. I think everybody should have that. You never know what's leaking in your house until you uh, it's too late. So, but that's, that's for another day. I wouldn't worry about it. But this is just a quick video with solar power, electricity, and electronics. And I will see you guys later. And I'm gonna get started on trimming these battery covers. Hello lazy to get gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.